Hello everybody, my name is Ankit Obroy and I'm going to present a short project based on Tableau. The objective of this project is to visualize the data for an online retail store and then generate insights that would help the business to analyze the overall sales trend for the organization, which will in turn help to take uh, better business decisions. So for that, we'll classify the sales trend based on three parameters. The first would be the periodical sales, second would be the categorical sales, and the third would be the sales based on regions. And in the end, we'll combine all these three sheets to uh, conclude it into a dashboard and, and uh, visualize the overall sales trend for the organization. This is the sample data sheet which contains a uh, sample data file which contains three sheets. Order sheet contains all the information related to orders. People sheet contains related uh, information related to the employees and return sheet contains the uh, return order IDs of, of all the orders. We'll quickly connect uh, the tableau to this data. Since the data is in Excel format, I'll choose the Excel sheet. I'll type in online supermarket. It will take just a few seconds before finally connecting the data source to Tableau. Now, uh, I can see all these three sheets which were originally present in the data set. I'll drag the order sheet to the center and see if I can view the table contents or not. Again, it will take a few seconds. Yes, I can see the uh, sheet contents now the order ids the ship mode customer id and all the other such information so since the sheet is finally the data set is finally connected we'll quickly jump to create these sheets so the first sheet which will we'll be creating is the sales trend based on the category categorical sales so by categorical sales i mean the uh, sales based on the category and the subcategory and the product name so I'll choose the category, put it into rows. Then I'll choose the subcategory, put it into rows. So the measure names are the names of all the columns which the data sheet contains and the measure values are the uh, field values for those columns. So I've selected two uh, measure names. One is category, one is subcategory. And the third one which I'll select is the product name. Now, as you can see, I have the category. Then I have the subcategory, under category, and then under, under subcategory, I have the various product names. So just to shorten our work, what I'll do is I'll create a hierarchy for this category. I'll take subcategory, drag and drop it to category. It will ask, it's already asking me a name for the hierarchy. I'll put it in as all products list. This is the name I have given to my hierarchy and one more thing which is left is I'll also put product name into this hierarchy and now since I've already created a hierarchy of this now we can see the minus sign on these pills if I click on this minus sign so it, this data will contract if I'll expand it now you can see the various uh, uh, now the category opens into subcategories and subcategory has opened into product name so this becomes more user friendly now, the text field is still missing. So what I need to show in the sales forecast is obviously the sales figure. I'll put it into text here. Let me just also show the profit for this. And perfect. Now I can see uh, the profit and the sales figure categorically wise and if I'll expand it I would be able to see it subcategory wise and if I'll further expand it I'll be able to see it product wise Perfect now one thing which is missing uh, here is the cost price of the uh, product Cost price is even missing in from our original data set but no worries W allows us that freedom to create altogether a new row which is not present in the initial data set so for that i'll have to create a calculated field i'll create a calculated field and name it as cost price and how will we derive the cost price by dividing the sum of sales by subtracting the sum of sales 
from sum of profit the calculation contains error because I put in equal to remove the zeros from here the calculation is valid I click on OK I still cannot see the cost price because the cost price has been added into the measure values and again put it here just do a bit of restructuring and now now I can see the cost price the profit and the sales bifurcation categorically wise subcategorically wise and product wise also I minimize this for now so that I can see the just the category and subcategory wise so this is the first sheet which we have created successfully the second was the periodical sales I'll rename the sheet as periodical sales so by periodical sales I mean the time value uh, I need to compare the time value with the sales so for time we will have to select order date now uh, like in the previous slide we created a hierarchy for the category and subcategory for any kind of date the W uh, by default creates a hierarchy so if I click on plus I would be able to see uh, the quarterly data then further monthly and then daily so I do not have to create a special hierarchy for the date I'll just quickly uh, forecast the values quickly show the values like in the last sheet we'll show the sales figure we'll show the profit figure and we'll also show the cost price just to make the appearance better probably we can select some other by default this, this looks fine so now I have a yearly sales figure profit figure and cost price figure uh, this let me just balance it I'll move it into ascending order perfect now I can see the profit followed by cost price and then by sales profit followed by cost price and sales. If I'll expand it, I can see the quarter wise, then month wise and so on and so forth. But for now I'll keep it uh, up till quarter wise. So we are done with the second sheet as well. Now we'll create a sheet based on regional sales trend I'll rename it as regional sales so by region I mean the state wise sales so we quickly uh, drag and drop the states it will create a whole map world map or the US map I should say just to make the appearance better I'll perfect now uh, we can see that uh, the moment I ho hover the cursor over any any of the state the state name gets highlighted now apart from the state name I also need to show the, uh, the revenues or the cost or the sales and the profit being generated from the each of these states so I'll quickly again uh, visualize those three values are fixed values one is sales I'll put it here the other is profit I'll put it here and cost price as well so the moment I'll hover my cursor over any of these states it will give me the state name the profit coming from that state the total sales figure of that state and also the cost price uh, we can we can remove the cost price but to maintain the uniformity which was there in the previous two sheets I've also included cost price in this sheet okay so now the three sheets are done we have created a uh, sales trend categorically wise we have created a sales trend periodically we have created a sales trend based on the region also so what we will quickly do now is we will combine all these three sheets so that we can give a complete picture of the sales trend we'll go to dashboard we'll create a new dashboard the moment I'll click on create new dashboard I can see all the three sheets which I've already made I want to include all these three sheets but I'll do the formatting to the best possible way let's let's keep the uh, regional sales as the biggest picture then horizontally I want to add the categorical sales and now I'll just 
give a floating window for periodical sales. Stretch this a bit. Now, uh, I have created a, a combined sheet or you can say a dashboard which represents sales based on various parameters. One is the region wise, second is the categorically wise and third is the uh, uh, time wise, the periodical wise. So what I'll do is let me just put in a filter wherein you know we can see uh, the sales trending based on the state. So I'll just add a filter to this. I'll add the slideshow view. So when you present the data to the senior management or the stakeholders, you need to present it in this form, the dashboard form. And let's say we want to see the sales trending of Montana. So the overall sales trending of the Montana is being represented here, wherein we can see the profit coming out of this state is 1833. The sales figure are this and the cost price, which goes into supplying products to this state is this. And the moment I'll switch to another state, you may notice that the sales figure based on the category and the sales figure based on the period has also changed. So the moment I click on some other state, these two will automatically get changed based on the state which I am choosing or the uh, city which I am choosing. So this is an interactive filter which we have applied uh, for our dashboard. And this way we can present the data to, to the upper management and the stakeholders. Thank you.